वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वल टूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी आउटपुट पैरामीटर इन दी स्टोर प्रोसीजर सो बेसिकली दी आउटपुट पैरामीटर इन मींस देन व्हेन यू पास द इनपुट वैल्यू सम आउटपुट वैल्यू विल बी अपीयर इन दी आउटपुट ओके सो लास्ट फाइव वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द इनपुट पैरामीटर सो इन द इनिशियली व्हेन आई डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द स्टोर प्रोसीजर सो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज द टाइप्स ऑफ द स्टोर प्रोसीजर दैट इज द इनपुट पैरामीटर एंड द आउटपुट पैरामीटर सो आई ऑलरेडी कवर द इनपुट पैरामीटर अंडर दिस फोर वीडियो सो इफ यू डिडेंट गेट ए चांस प्लीज गो एंड वॉच ऑल दिस वीडियो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री सो अंडर वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री आई विल डिस्कस इन द डिटेल Uh, how you can create the and uh, execute the output parameter store procedure so the the syntax and the, for the writing the store procedure of the output parameter and the execution process is totally different as compared with the input parameter so uh, let's jump to the sql server management studio and understand how we can create the output parameter store procedure so before starting i am just giving you the uh, real time use cases uh, why we use the uh, uh, output parameter store procedure so when you call the multiple store procedure in one store procedure sometimes the whatever the output value in the one store procedure and uh, that will be the input parameter of the, uh, the second store procedure uh, that will be covered in the detail in the video uh, we already have in the future that call how to call multiple store procedure in the single store procedure so that is a part of the but in this video i will discuss in the detail first how you can create and how you can execute the output parameter store procedure and this is a very important interview question for the fraser because they know they don't know the only input parameter and if the interviewer asks the question uh, related to execution process of the output parameter they will uh, simply say the like the input parameter and this is the major area rejection of the any fraser in the interview so uh, let's jump to the sql server management studio and i'm creating one dummy table uh, which is the table student i will use this table for the uh, this uh, video training okay so i have you can see i have the student id first name last name email so uh, i'm going to create the store procedure Uh, with the output parameter so my procedure name is get student name input uh, output variable okay so uh, before creating i'm just checking that this procedure is available uh, then we need to be first drop and we can create this procedure so uh, while we talking about the input parameter store procedure uh, we just declare the variable and pass the uh, data type okay after data type we not giving any value but while we creating the output parameter store procedure uh, you need to give the out keyword okay so out out keyword will help the sql engine to understand that this is the output parameter uh, variable is there so if you pass the in, uh, student id you will get the student name so output parameter no need to supply the value you will get the value from the output parameter now uh, since we get the value so you need to build the logic here so i am assigning the first name and the last name combination from this table and uh, student id the student id and putting the variable okay so if you uh, create the store procedure into this in this database so now you can see uh, this procedure got created into the database now the execution process is little bit different so when we have the only input parameter we simply writing the execute procedure name and the variable you passing but here if you pass the something the output parameter whatever number you have the output parameter you need to be declare the variable so this variable and this variable it should not be the same okay either you can put the same name uh, most of the time we putting the same name so we can understand that this variable is declared for Uh, this output parameter but if you put the different name here it will work okay so uh, i'm giving the student name and the where care 200 and here you need to use the same variable and here you need to put the output okay always you need to be put the output 
so sometimes the student got confused where you need to put the out and the where we need to be output so when we declaring the variable when we passing the as a in the store procedure that time you need to put the out but when we uh, getting the result we need to put the output and here you need to put the select statement okay so now if you execute it okay uh, you can see the uh, amit singh is coming uh, based on the whatever the uh, uh, student uh, uh, student id 3 is passed so if you go to the see the uh, table so 3 is the amit singh is coming suppose if you pass the 1 you will get the vivek jori okay so now i'm going to pass the one value here okay so if you pass the one value you will get the vivek jori so like this uh, you can create the output parameter you can create the multiple input parameter and you can create the multiple output parameter as well so here example i have two output parameter uh, one is the student name and the second one is the student email okay so if i pass the student id i will get the student name and the student email so same logic you can apply you can multiple time you can put the out and while we executing the uh, store procedures also okay you will you need to create two times okay you need to create the two times student name and student email and same thing you need to be call here output okay so basically declaring the variable to collect the student name and the collect the student email okay and same you need to put the select here you can give the alias name or the column so you will not give the no column name so now you can see you will get the vivek jodi suppose if you pass the input value is the student id is equal to 3 uh, you will get the amit singh and amit singh mail id amit dot at the rate abc dot com like this uh, you can use the execution of the output parameter store procedure and uh, creation of the store procedure in the future video uh, i will discuss in the detail uh, what is the use cases okay how you can utilize because this is a very important when we work with the real time okay so thank you so much for the watching complete this video i will meet again in next video thank you so much